Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave. Today we're going to continue our playthrough of Storm Above the Reich. And this is from GMT Games. And we're going to pick this up with... <laughs> been, been, been about a week since I played, so... Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're in mid-1943, and this is mission number four. So we're going to roll... One die, one die, and we're going to see what map we're going to be on. It's uh, number three, and in the mid, uh, two to eight stays on map six. That's the one we have. Okay, and now we're going to go see what our target type's going to be. It's a three. Oh, it's inbound. Okay. Well, that's good news. Sorry, I was uh, misplaced my pencil. <laughs> so we're going map six. We're going to be inbound. All right. And the next thing we do is our operation points. And on the last mission, uh, that was even, so we're even on our operation points. So we get plus two because of the vector map. So we rolled a six inbound. That's six. Oop, nope. Oh, yeah, inbound. Sorry, six. So we get six plus two is eight operation points. Okay. Next thing we roll for is escort. And we get a six, five to eight. It is light eight, and the T is the old P38. Okay, so they don't arrive till turn number eight. Okay. And it will be five P-38s, so we're going to do what we normally do and spread these guys out here. And mix them up. We don't have any idea what we're drawing. Take one, two, three, four, and five. And we'll put them over here. Okay. Now that's everything off of this map sheet. So now we will go to our booklet. And this is inbound on map six. That's what we have right here inbound map six. So let's see what we roll here. This is a 10. Oh, 10 on the inbound is right here. It's damage, and it will be on this aircraft right here. So we get our damage markers. And we draw, and it is a wing. So he has one wing damage. On that B24. Okay, now we roll. See if these guys are anchored. A seven, no anchor, okay. Sun, a one, high nose, okay. So the sun will be over here, high nose, right there. All right. Now we got to roll for uh, flight limit and tactical points. First, the tactical points. This is where I always get burned, right here. And we rolled, hey, it's a 10, finally. I get six tactical points plus the two. That gives me eight, wow. I never get that many. <laughs> okay, and we have a flight limit of four, which is six turns, plus two is eight. So everything's at eight. The escort arrives about the time we're gonna wrap up. No contrails, of course. Okay, <laughs> all right. I'm so excited. I actually got um, 
<laughs> actually got some some uh, tactical points to work with this time. Okay, we're going to roll to see escort setup. So we do a roll here. We're going to see this is light. We're going to see where these guys go. It's an eight. Knocked over my stuff. Eight is two forward and three below trailing. So we'll take the top two and put them in forward, and these three are below trailing. So that's where the escort's going to start at. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, man, it's been so long since I played, I forgot, I'm sorry. What I was supposed to do was spin my op points on my aircraft. Um, let's see, we're going to go with, look at my squadron here. I think it's time to go with, I got eight. If I go with my flight of four. I think I'll fly... Noken, Munster, Osile, and Rule. They're all Noken. His he's the um, he's the ace out of the group or the experienced guy. Put a marker on him. Noken, Munster, Osile, and Rule. Okay. So I got four. Fockwolf 190s, put them in the zone over here, and then, now I'm going to buy, now it's time to buy. So in mid-43, I'm buying the BF-110s, I can get three for one point, so I spent four, so this is going to make, this is going to make five points. I can buy four of the MC-202s. It's one for each two of them. So that's seven, and I'm buying the three cannons for the one tens. So I want them to I want them to hit these guys hard. So each one of my one tens has a cannon. All right, a little out of practice. That's okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'll move over here while we shoot this side. Zoom in a little bit. A little bit of glare from the plexiglass that I have on this side, but not bad. Okay, so we're ready to start. And we'll start with these guys are going to move in this middle zone right here and we're going to roll both dice and we add them together and the roll is 16 9 and 7 is 16 All right 16 right here we're on the far zone one bomber one escort now that escorts a T and so he comes out of the escort group over here that are down here so what we're going to do sorry for the cameras zipping all around back that up a little bit make it better I'm going to just roll a die well I should take him out of the box it's got the most in it so I'm going to take it out of the below trailing so we have an escort attacking and we have a bomber here so we're going to roll for the bomber we're going to see what he is if he's got damage or not. Even two damage markers. Oh, it is. It's even. Even. Two damage markers. So we're going to take two damage markers. We're going one and two. Oh, two wings. One wing and two wing. That's three wing hits on him. So we have him there. Now the P-38 is going to attack one of these three groups. So I'm going to say 1 to 3, 4 to 6, 7 to 9, 7. So he's coming after this group here. Okay, 
So the P38 is attacking. So just getting my um, charts out again. Like I said, it's it's uh, been a little bit. I just got to get back into what we're doing here. Okay. So we're going to see here we have evasion of seven or higher. So they're going to see if they can evade this escort. Oh, six, but I can add two to that and take a delay marker. And that's what they're going to do. So they're going to be delayed a turn, and the P38s come off the board. All right. So, no escorts to deal with. Now I got this bomber that I got to decide what to do with. And we'll set this over here. I'm going to send one of these guys or two of them. That's the question, right? I think I'll send one of them, one of these MC202s after this bomber. So we're going to move over here to the pursuit map. And the bomber is going to be there. And he's got two wing damages. I got one MC202 coming and I'm going to give him two of my one of my tactical points or two of them. That's the question, right? I'll give him two so it's going to drop me to six. Okay, so I have two tactical points. He's going to come in I want to hit the wings. I'm coming in here. Let's see. I got to roll for the sun. So let's see where the sun is. So we're going to roll, and it's a nine. The sun is over here high. So here's the sun. So I'm coming in out of the sun at. 3 o'clock at high, 3 o'clock out of the sun. Okay. <clears throat> so he's coming in by himself. And now we're going to roll. We're going to see he has two damage markers on the wing. So we're going to see if this plane stays up or not. And it's a 3. It does. If it needed 5 to 10, he would have gone down. Okay. All right. So we're attacking out of the sun on the nose. Here we go. And he's a zero for his defense. Dang it. It's um man, wish I'd have come in level now, would have had a hit. Nose high. Pass throughs too, doesn't matter, but he takes a hit. So the fighter takes a hit from the nose, and it is a wing and a four. Okay, so I didn't hit, we passed through. The first thing we have to do now is we have to roll to see if that damage is superficial. So here we go. It's a seven. And it is four or higher. So it's superficial. So no damage there. So he's he made it through. So now I can spend. Oh, and you know what? I could have spent I was out of the sun, so it wouldn't have mattered. I took that hit off anyway. Okay. Now I gotta spend a TP point. And he's gonna come in. Six o'clock or low? Hmm. I think he'll come in. I'm going to come in six o'clock level. It cost me the one TP. Okay. And he's going to fire on this guy. Here he goes. I got one TP left. Okay. So he fires. 
sorry, wrong one, tail. And he's level. Man, it's a zero. Oh, he's a two back here in the back. We get an R, one hit on him, one hit on me. Okay. So I gotta look up the R again because I forget what that means. Okay. I came in level at two. That means riding the tail. So I get to fire again. I score a hit, he scores a hit. So let's see what we get on him. It is another wing. Oh, it's two. That's it. I shot him down, but he's going to score a hit on me. And it is a another wing. Okay. So I'm going to roll. We're going to see. Eight. He survives the wing hit. So this guy goes home. And we score a kill, which I get victory and experience points for the stuff. Okay, and on inbound, that's two points on that guy. All right. I like that quite a bit. So I dispatched that one fighter. He did his job. We score one earned. One victory point. Okay. All right. Back over to here. And it's time to move up. So these guys move up. They move up. They move up. Okay. <clears throat> now, got to roll. Two dice. It is five. Hmm. Uh oh. Let's see what five brings in. Five is garble. Each group place a delay marker or one, spend one tactical point. All right. The other one is intercepted by another P-38. All right, so I've got these are even now, so I'm gonna roll and a one to five is him. It's a seven. So they're coming off of the bottom tailing. So he's the one that's intercepting again. And we're gonna have delay markers. Let's see if I can um let's see. We're gonna be garbled. Let's see. Let's see who he's um gonna go after. One, two, three, four, four. He's coming after the one tens this time. They're gonna roll, see if they can evade him. They cannot. So they're gonna to have to dogfight this guy. So he is a two, and we have three. Okay. So this time. We're going to be one tens. We have more, yes. Are we higher? Seven plus, I'm gonna have the altitude, yes. So we're higher. So I am, yes, higher, and yes, more than he has. And these are the P-38s. So we're gonna roll. And it is a seven, which may not be too bad. The seven is right here. That's a B. Break off. Fighters and one escort marker exit. Okay. Fighters and one escort exit. So the fighters break off. And I the same number of of um, planes, I do believe. I mean, look at this real quick in the advanced rules. If I remember right, on this part of it, breakaway effect on the fighters. Um, select one or more fighters whose battle value equals or exceeds the escort number. So we had two, we had veterans, so only one of these guys has to break off. 
So he breaks off with those two guys. Because you have expert and expert, veteran, and green. So one of my one tens broke off with those two guys. Okay. Now we have to do garbled. So I either pay not to delay. He's already got a delay. I'm going to let him take a delay. So he's going to be delayed two turns. I'm going to pay one point for my Fox Wolves. And I'm going to let the one tens be delayed. Okay. Because the way the garble works, each group place a delay marker or minus one. Yep. Okay, so now we move up. Move up. Whoops. That's his cannon. Then I knocked over. And this group is delayed. Okay. Here we go. We're going to roll. This is 12. And they're in a the close zone. 12. We have a bomber. That they can go after. We have another P-38 escort will come out of this box we're going to have to deal with him and we have R radio so we're going to roll for the radio let's do this first odd okay so down here Odd. Apply to roll one die and apply to one group. Oh, okay. So we know it's odd. I'm going to roll for the group. What was it? Ten. Eight. That's for the MC 202s. Rerouted. I lose a TP, and they take another delay marker. Okay. So. Those guys are delayed three turns now. So it's going to take them a while to get there. All right. Now I got to roll for the. I'm going to draw for the. I got to roll to see how many damage points are on that bomber. It's even. That's two. Okay. So we're coming back up to here. Back that back up. I'm taking two damage markers. First one is engine. Second one is engine. Oh, he may not make it anyway. I just got to send somebody down there to find him. Okay, now the P-38. Who's he going after? So we're going to roll one die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six. One, two, three. He's going after my one tens. Okay. So let's see what he has. Uh-oh, four this time. And let's see, altitude advantage. Five, no. I can add one to get to six. It costs me another TP, and I don't think I want to do that. So these P-38s are just going to have to deal with these guys this time. So this time, P-38s. The P-38, or the BF-110s, I'm sorry, are no higher and no here. So it's a no and a no. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh, a one is not good. Scattered, fighter's exit, escort marker returns to below trailing. Okay, well, I didn't lose anybody, but these guys go back into trailing so they come back onto the board I didn't get rid of them that time and these guys were off the board so my 110s they got chased off the board with a bad die roll alright I'm gonna send one of these guys after that bomber so we're doing this one again with the pursuit map Let's see if I can lay this one right here this time I don't have to change my camera too much. Let's see, I can move this up a little bit. Okay. So, 
there's a high probability that uh, he's going down. He's coming in. Let's see. They get damage markers. There's two of them for the engines. So he gains three TP points, so I'm not giving him any to come down here. So we got two of those. We're going to roll for the sun. The sun is eight. Eight is nose high again. So I'm coming in on the nose. Oh, that's where my fighter's coming in. He's coming in high. Okay, the first thing we do now is we roll to see here. There's two damage engine markers. A seven to ten, the plane goes down. Ten. It went down. Okay. So that comes off, the bomber comes off, sun comes off, this guy goes home, and we get the victory point but no experience point. Destroyed bomber, yeah, we get the victory points but no experience point. Okay. That's two bombers down on this on this mission. Okay. That's big. And we're done with the vector map. So we move in here. We move in here. Okay, bring our camera back over, and now we're going to be getting ready for mission turn one. These guys have two, have three, have three delays on them, so they won't come in. Let's see, delay turn one, delay turn two, delay turn three. So they'll come in on turn number four. These guys are going to come in here on turn one. They can come in, they can pay one TP, come in level, or they can come in low with zero TP. Okay. <clears throat> I think, looking over here, what have we got? Here's where we're going to get into the meat of this thing now, right? Let's see, if I come in high, if I come in low, if I come in level, they're not anchored. This is the guy that's damaged. He's got two points there. I can come in on him. I can come in with a swarm. I can gain some stuff, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in oblique, low. Because my approach has to be low or high. I can't come in uh, level on the oblique. But I'm bringing my swarm in. And remember, he is an F on his um, skills, which means he's a flyer. When this fighter triggers a collision check during the attack phase, draw two markers and select one. And I get to look at both of them. Okay, so that's that's nice when we're coming in here with these guys. Because we're going to do a collision check. Trigger draw permix. Put a proximity marker from the cup and place it on a fighter in the space. Yep. Okay. All right. So mission one, turn one. We moved. So we moved onto the board. We moved on to the board. We don't have anybody in the return box. There's no escort. There's no recovery. No blast and flak. No cohesion. Because at on a one, roll the die. If number is equal to or less than the number of markers. Oh, I guess I do need to roll that because it's equal to or less. So let's roll. Because a one, it could be cohesion problems. Six. No. Okay. 
So no problems there. Attack. Don't have an attack. So we go to turn two. And these delay markers are coming off. And now we do move. So this group moves in. Oblique. Low. Actually, what I said I was doing up here and I paid for it was I came in level. I came in level. It still doesn't matter. I'm not going to pay another point. I'm coming in low right here. Okay. So he's coming in oblique low. All right. No return box, no escort, no recovery, no blast. Roll for cohesion. Okay. Nine. No problems there. Now we do attack. So I got these guys, four fighters all coming in here. One, two, three, four. They're all coming in evasive. So I don't want to mess that up this time. Okay. They're coming in evasive. Looks like a swarm. And we got to draw for the first thing is the collision check on this pilot. And he's going to draw two markers. One, two. <laughs> he gets an E and one TP and an E and two TPs. Escape. Pay the TP cost. The fighter breaks away to the tail position either return box if you do not play the fighter exits instead. Okay, so I pay over here. Got to pay a tactical point, which I do. And now he breaks to the tail position and he used up his one and he goes in evasive return right there. That leaves these three fighters coming in here in the swarm. And the swarm means just looking real quick. I want to make sure I do this right again. Like I said, it's been a little while. Let me see. Swarm advantage, 43 and 47. Uh, 45, 43, 42, 43. Swarm advantage allows you to auto automatically inflict two damage results when resolving the attack during the burst step of the attack phase. Okay, you earn this advantage if four or more fighters attack the element and at least four are in the same or adjacent spaces. We had that. The four must be at the same altitude and must have emerged from the same nose or two. I don't think I get it because the one plane had to break off. So that's going to leave me with the rock advantage. So I didn't get the swarm because he had to break off, but they do have a rock. Okay. One space effect allows you to cancel one hit during the burst step or during continuing fire in the breakaway step. It need not be used on the two or more fighters that earn this advantage. It may be used to cancel a hit applied to another fighter in the element. Okay. Alright, so I get to take away a hit off of one of these guys. Alright, here we go. The first fighter, I take those off of there. One of those markers stays on here though, as part of the roll for, the, for this one turn. Okay, so here comes, I get to do my maneuvers. Um, they're low, so they're going to do climbing. He's going to roll this way. Let's see, he's coming in. I don't want to pass through there, hopefully. On a straight climb, if he breaks, he'll come in here. He's going to break right. He's going to break left. Okay, so there's my maneuvers. Alrighty, here we go. First pilot. This is oblique, low. And this zone is a one. And they're in maneuvering. A one, low. I get one hit and a pass through. 
Okay, so his pastor moves him over to here. Scores a hit. And it is fuselage and it's a gunner. So that's going to be and no hits on me. Okay, so he passed through and then they do the continuing fire. Now he's in a zone of two. Oh, and he's going to take a damage point. So the damage is a five on the fuselage. Hmm. Okay. The snake's guy is coming. Now the gunner hit the fuselage is a gunner. Okay. This guy, he's firing oblique low. He's still a one. Oh. One pass through, he rolls over this way. He takes one damage hit. It's an elevator and a nine. That's the one I'm going to get rid of right there. So my rod advantage is over. And now the pass continuing fire, it's a two. And he's maneuvered on a slow climb. We have to add one so it goes to three he takes another hit shoot oops wrong one now we pull for another hit on this guy he avoided one major one and he gets a seven on the engine Blech. okay if this guy's firing oblique low on a on a one he gets a pass through so he's over here and we got to pull continuing fire and the continuing fire is Octoon determine mode only after breakaway move an escort marker from the above trailing session to the fighters return box yuck okay okay this guy he's up here they're on the no they're on the nose in this group. They could be on the nose or the oblique, right? Yeah. Alright. From the above trailing oh there is nobody in the above trailing section. Okay, nothing. So no damage to him. Alright. So these two guys are going to go evasive return and he's in evasive return right there. Alright. That was the end of the attack. I didn't do much damage on that guy. Not like I was hoping to. That's for sure. All right. It's turn three. That marker is going to come off on turn four. They're going to get to come onto the board. Give us a little more activity here. See if we can bust one of these guys. All right. Now we do move. I don't have anybody. Now we do return. So my return box, he moves. And he moves. Those guys with the damage can't move. Okay, next we go escort. Nope, we go recovery. Okay, so this guy goes into recovery. He's a seven on an engine. So we're going to roll. We need a seven or higher. Nine. Oh, they didn't damage his engine. It sputtered a little bit. And away he goes. So he's, he's over there. Take these maneuvers off. Now we got to do, oh, he doesn't move. He stays in that box. Now this guy, he needs a fiber higher on his fuselage. Oh, a one. So he did not get to recover. Throw that away. And that goes on to the fuselage. So he goes into the box, the fake box. Okay, that's it for recovery. Now we roll for cohesion. This cohesion is, he has three, so a three or less. Six. No problem. That marker comes off. Okay. No attacks. Turn marker goes to turn four. And these guys are going to move to the board. So they're going to come in. I 
think I'll have them come in. Hmm. They're going to come in oblique low. Man, I don't like that. They're going to come in nose low. Okay, that's their move. We do um, return box. This guy moves in. He's going to go tail low. And he moves up to the return box. Okay. No escort, no recovery, no blast and flat. Cohesion. A nine, still good there. No attack phase. Okay. Turn five. These guys are coming in. You're coming in nose low. This guy is coming in. He's not going to come in yet. He's moving up here. And then we do return box. He moves up right there. And we do escort recovery cohesion. Three. Oh, that was close. Nope. Okay. And now we do attack. So I have in my box one Falk Wolf and two MC202s. So they're coming in onto this guy at nose low. So they're coming in as a rot. And so this is the guy I'm going to pull for for the collision check. And it is no impact. Woohoo! Okay, so they're good. <laughs> so they flew through that. I couldn't get that when I had the two guys. And I could have kept my swarm over there. All right, they're coming in as a rot, which means they can avoid damage. So my Falk Wolf's coming in. They're at nose low. Okay, so nose, attack, low. They need maneuvers. He's going to do... He's going to roll to the right. They're all three going to roll to the right here. Okay. Nose low and it's a two nose low two he scores a hit and he takes a hit okay scores a hit and it is engine and an eight or higher and he falls out of the formation four does not he takes an engine hit. Okay. He's going to roll over to this side. Oh, he takes the damage. It is a six on the fuselage. And they're going to do continuing fire. And on a one, so no nothing, powered bleed. He was in a climb. After resolving continuing fire, fighter switches to evasive mode and then breaks away to tail low. We're already in evasive, but he goes tail low. And I'm going to discard this. It's going to be my rod advantage, and I'm getting rid of that. Okay, so he goes tail low. Off the board. Okay, here comes my MC-202s. They came in, nose low. So here he goes, nose low, on a two, a two, evasive, he scores a hit and he does a pass through. So he passes through with one hit, it is fuselage, three hits on the fuselage. Okay, continuing fire, this area is a one. No damage. Alright, 
So he goes, he's in the oblique over here, and he's climbed, so he's over here. And here comes this guy. He did nose low, and he comes in on a two, and he does one pass through, and he takes a hit. He moves over, he takes a hit, it is, ooh, a seven, and continuing fire, octune, determined, mode only, no. Okay, so he gets out, he's over here with his damage marker on him, all right. A lot happened right there with those guys. Now we go, it's turn number six. We're getting near the end here. We do move. So I got a choice here. It can come in low, level, or high. It doesn't cost me anything. He's moving up to high. He's moving to level. That's it. We do return. He moves up. He moves up down here at the bottom. He moved to that box. Now we got a roll. I need a seven or higher. Seven! Yes. So, superficial damage. He stays in that box. Okay. That's escort, recovery, cohesion. Now he's got four markers on there. A three. Well. They're not cohesive anymore. They are now a loose element. Okay. He's been taking some damage. Now he's in trouble. <laughs> All right. And attack. Nobody attacks. This becomes turn number six. We do moves. He's coming in high. He's coming in level. That's it. We go to return, he's coming in low, he's coming in high here, and he moves up one box. Okay. We have um, escort, recovery, now we do cohesion, now it's five markers. A six, it's okay. Now we do attack. So we got this guy coming in on his tail, this guy coming in on his tail. So he's coming in high, he's coming in level. Okay. They're doing a dive straight through, and he's doing the same thing a dive straight through. Okay, here we go. Yep. All right, so we got tail, we'll do the tail level, tail level, and it's a one, tail level one. Oh, he takes the damage, and I think, I got to look real quick on the rocks, I think it is, is it two guys in the same Rod advantage, if you're at least one space in the element, must be in the same space at the same altitude. Yeah, so I'm not. So there's no rod advantage. Okay. So he's going to take the damage. He passes through. And his damage marker is a 5. Okay. And they're going to fire, continuing fire at him. And he was in a dive. If diving changed to evasive, we're already in that. Skip continuing fire. Okay. So he comes through. He'll be in the nose. He's in evasive down there. All right. Now I got this guy coming in tail high. And he's a one. Tail high. Dang it. Can't believe it. <laughs> I get hit. He doesn't take any damage. And it's a five. So he passes through. We do continuing fire at a one. 
and there's no damage. And you know what? I just looked at this tail high. I was in evasive mode. It was a miss, so there was no damage. Woo Glad I caught that. Okay, his maneuver comes off, and he did a dive. He'll be in the same box with this guy. Okay. All right. Turn marker goes up. This is it, the final turn. It's turn number eight. So the first thing we're going to do is move. He gets into an attack box at tail low, or he's going to go two TPs. He's going to spend two TP. Oh, if he moves there, though, he can't get in the attack position. So I'm going to come in there, attack position, right there. And I got one guy coming in, oblique high. Okay. Down here. Return box, return box, and now we got to do recovery. I need a five or higher. Eight. He recovered. Okay. No damage. Well, that's been lucky today, so far. All right. This is it. This is the final um, turn. Actually, the escort shows up also um, here. So now we roll for each one of these escorts. So we start with the forward escort which is right here. We rolled a one. Escort moves to above trailing station. So he moved up to there. This guy's in the below trailing. We rolled a two. He moves to the forward station. Okay, that's it. So the escort's not going to bother me. Because they're shifting around trying to get in position. Alright, I got no, no recovery to do. Cohesion. Four, five. Five or less. Hey, one. So they went from loose to the element being kaput. All right. Well, that helps, I think. Okay, I got this guy coming in. He's coming in high. It's two blocks. He's coming in high. And this guy's coming in low on the tail. And I almost wonder if I shouldn't be determined now. <laughs> but I don't want him to get shut up. But I think I'm going to make this guy determined. He's coming in high and determined. Okay. And they're going to have position advantage, I do believe. I'm going to check that one real quick. Make sure. Position advantage. At least two fighters attack the element from different positions and different altitudes. That's what I have. Okay, so I got position advantage. All right, I got my Falk Wolf coming in. He's going to be a zero, but he's plus one low, so he makes him a one. So tail low. Let's see, got to have a maneuver. He's going to go... He's going to go climb. He's going to roll to the left. This guy is going to go dive and roll to the right. Like that. Okay, he's coming through. He's climbing tail low. Here he goes. It is a one. A one, tail low. He takes the damage. Shoot. Okay. And the damage is a three. And he moves tail low. Oh, he did not move. He stayed there. So continuing fire is still a one. He was not diving, so he's, he's out of there. Let's see. He stays in the tail evasive. Okay, here comes this guy. He's coming in oblique high, determined. And this is zero. He scores a hit, passes through two, one, two, and he takes a hit. Well, his hit is nine, which is the one I'm getting rid of for the advantage position. So he gets rid of that. And now, 
to hit on this bomber is a wing, one wing. Not enough to shoot him down. They do continuing fire. He was in a diving roll, and he's a zero out there, but he was determined he takes one hit. Roll a die if even. Place a damage marker on the nearest bomber. If odd, skip continuing fire. Even. So I take my hit, and we place a damage marker on the nearest bomber, which is that guy. Okay. So the damage marker on this guy is a four. Take that off of there. He'll be at the tail, and his markers come off. And we put a damage marker on this bomber, and it is a wing. It's two hits on the wing. We roll to see if he fell out. If it's a 10, it's not. He did not fall out. He's shot all the heck. So that is three, five, six, seven, eight hits. Not enough to get him. I need 10, I do believe. Whoa, sorry about that. Hit my camera as I was moving around. <laughs> Let's see. Damage. Destroyed. 23. Bomber. 47. Uh, damage. Uh, let's see, cannon swarm accumulated damage. Yeah, it takes 10. The moment the damage markers on all of the bomber's damage markers add to 10 or more, the bomber's destroyed. Yeah, he's not destroyed. I didn't get him. Okay, well, that's the end of that. We got to do our rolls here. So this first guy, he needs a three or higher. Six. Oh, he's no, he's okay. And then he needs a four or higher. Ten. Okay, we didn't lose anybody. Right. That's the end of that mission. So all these guys get home, but I got to see what happens to my guy over here, right here on the fuselage. He needs to roll, this is my 190, a 7 to 10, and he lands. Okay, here we go. 7 to 10, he lands. 8, yes. There it is. 8, he landed. Okay, so he gets it back home safe. Good job, Munster. <laughs> All right. So, at the end of that mission, I ended up with one experience point, but four victory points. So, so far in this, in this um, campaign, I've got two, seven, eight, I have 12 victory points so far, and we're not quite halfway through. And on this campaign, we need 30 to win it. So we're going to be heading into mission 5 next. We just don't know what map it is yet or anything. All right. So that's going to conclude mission number 4 of Storm Above the Right. I hope you're enjoying this. I know it's kind of a been a lot of turns on this, but this is the medium campaign. I got to win one of these areas to get to, to win the thing, or if I lose one of them. But I'm not going to lose this one because I take that back. I need um, I got to have over 30 not to lose. So I'm I'm almost halfway there, and almost halfway into my missions here. So, all right. Hope you're enjoying it. If you new to the channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. And if you like the video, give me that thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Everybody have a good one.